And for the first time in the competition's history, the Liberty A-League opening round will be a standalone round, which has been brought forward to be a standalone fixture in the women's competition. Look, I think it's incredible. We're doing something amazing where we're having this season before the men's A-League season kicks off. So to be able to celebrate what we've just done in this country for sport in Australia and for the nation, I think it's truly inspiring and I hope that people turn up for this first round because we do need to celebrate what has just happened here. The nation's turned up not just to watch the Matildas, they've turned up to watch all the other nations. So right now that shows everyone is loving football. If we see the capacity that we've had within all the Matildas matches, I'd love to see, you know, a glimpse of that capacity in round one. Like it's I think I think what the the Matildas done off the back of this World Cup, that should be celebrated because a lot of these girls foundationally started in this league. So I would love for that first week to be celebrated for that exact reason. Yeah, we need to take down all barriers. I mean, and this is one of them, a, a cost barrier for children to go watch their team. Um, it's really important and our fans are mainly families. So young kids and players, I mean, players that are inspirational to these young kids. So I think it's really important to allow them in, just experience it. And, and that's where we go from there. But yeah, reducing barriers as much as we can.